Looks like we have gotten a new brand new free agent on the scene. One that can practically automate anything on your computer. Allow me to introduce Runner H from H Company. And the best part is, it's completely free at the moment. Runner H is an AI agent that can click, type, search the web, and handle tasks for you 24-7. For example, you can ask Runner H to read all your unread emails and even write replies perfectly within the interface itself. It is something that will automate all of these tasks and create a draft for you replying to all of these emails based off your own tone. Another example is where it can analyze your resume, search for jobs, and even apply on your behalf. Runner H finds the listing and it matches it based off the criteria you have set. It is where you can easily have this whole process of applying to jobs fully automated for you. At the moment, they have a couple of apps that you can integrate within the Runner H agent and it can automate and use these tools to help you process all of these tasks from using Google Docs, Notion, Slack, all the way to Zapier. Now you can easily get started with the link in the description below and it'll take you to this main Runner H dashboard. This is where you can use the chat interface to send in natural language prompts. You can upload your files. You can also have it so that the agent is highly involved, moderately involved, where it won't be acting 100% uh, on its own, or you can have it so that it is fully automated. Within the discovery tab, you have the ability to access these different ready-made templates to automate certain things with different integrations, like planning a trip, generating a report, or just doing something basic, like the logging the remote front-end dev jobs. So in this case, you can send in this prompt and it will be then added into Google Sheet. It will then request you to actually connect it to Google Sheet over here, which I'm going to do quickly. And after connecting it to Google Sheet, it's going to then work on executing this task for you. Once you have connected, you can see that it's going to then work on continuing this task. This is where it is going to then work on starting up the browser session. And you can see right away, it is going to give you the logs of what it is working on. You can see the current objective right now is to scan Welcome to the Jungle and Remotive for remote front-end developer jobs posted this week. And you can see all the different pages it's scraping the contents from and all the steps that it takes to get to where it's at right now. And you can actually take a look at what is happening within the chat log itself. You can even go back into the chat tab and talk to Runner H to see what is going down. Or if you want to change something, you can send in a request with your natural language prompt to change something like, uh, don't use this website, use another one. That's just an example of what you can actually do for this case. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. And there we go. It looks like it has now created the new Google Sheet and logged the top remote front end developer jobs. Now, this was something that it did pretty quickly and you can see that it has found the top five trending, or not trending, but the top five front-end developer jobs, and it has outputted these remote jobs within the Google Sheet over here. Now, keep in mind, I know I said it's free, but you only get 10 runs, and I believe you can increase this by referring people. They have a paid plan that's gonna be coming soon, which I don't really recommend paying for right away, unless it is something that helps you for this use case. They do train, I believe, on your data, so keep that in mind. And this is something that is gonna be used to help you do menial basic tasks, in my opinion. Now, it is actually powered by the H company agent that they had actually developed. This is where it's an agent that recorded a pretty high score on the Gentic workflow benchmark, where it is able to go up against many of the other different types of computer agents like browser use. They actually have a Surfer H open source web agent as well. They have released the open weights for it, and it does pretty good up against many of the other agents that are available. But overall, you can have it so that it is able to do almost anything on the web, like having it go ahead and compile the latest earning reports for Cloudflare, and it is going to be able to do it quite rapidly. In this case, it is going to use the Runner H agent to surf the web and use its agentic capabilities to scrape the contents and actually execute the task for you. And there we go. It looks like it has now found the latest earnings report for us. 
And it looks like it has now provided the correct link for the actual investor report from Cloudflare. So let's try something new. We're going to send in our own prompt and we're going to ask it to find my channel and scrape the top 10 trending videos and place them into a new Google sheet for me. I'm also telling it to scrape the title and then scrape how many views it gets. So right away, you can see it is going to work on searching for the actual YouTube channel, which is a great way to see all the different plans it is going to take to execute this task. So now the browser session is loading and it's going to then work on executing this task by finding the top trending videos within the video category tab. Oh, and looks like it has also created a PDF for me. It scraped the top 10 trending videos and it also had provided me a powerful or the amount of views it has gotten. So this is actually awesome because the data button video is number one, as well as the DeepSeek R1 video. So it was able to complete this task for me and it did it pretty quickly. So just to specify again, the Surfer H agent is the computer use agent that will browse the web and go ahead and execute his browser agentic capabilities to observe and see what it needs for the agent to complete that task. And the actual runner H agent is the one that is going to be able to use its agentic capabilities to execute tasks through different integrations and process your natural language query. So in my opinion, if you're going to be using it for the agentic capabilities, which it does a pretty decent job, I guess, I would probably use runner H, but if you're going to be using the surfer agent, the computer use capabilities, you would probably want to use browser use. This practically has the same capabilities as runner H as well because they have implemented agentic capabilities to it. This is something that is open source as well, so you can easily get started with the repo. I also had made a video on my main channel that helps you set this up. So if you're interested, take a look at this. I wouldn't pay for runner H in my opinion, because you can use different tools like this to help you and execute tasks with different integrations. But that's my two cents. But overall, I am definitely grateful to see that runner H has made their platform a bit free, I guess, not completely free, but it is something that will help you in various ways to automate different sorts of tasks through different integrations. So let me know what you guys think about this. It is a great way to automate web-based tasks for, for various integrations, as well as different tasks that you can convey through natural language. But that's basically it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video, got some sort of value out of it. Subscribe to the newsletter if you haven't already. Join our private Discord. Follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.